should you buy a 150 megabit Wi-Fi and router in 2017? Well, if you want to know my detailed answer, uh, you know, you'll find out in this video. But for a short answer, the answer is no, absolutely not. And I will share my reasons. So first of all, let me talk about this TP-Link router. In no way is this a bad product. It was really cheap when I bought it. Um, I think I bought it for around um, 700 rupees or something like that. And it still se sells for around the same price, 700 to 800 rupees, uh, which is roughly $10 or $12. Okay, so yes, it's really, it was very cheap at that time. And when I bought it close to seven years ago or six to seven years ago, this fit my needs absolutely well. So this was a 150 um, megabit router, as you can see, it's the WR740N. It was a 150 Mbps wireless N router, obviously a single band router. And uh, it was the best router at that time. However, there are certain drawbacks to using a 150M router. The main reason is this single antenna. Now, initially, uh, you know, it's a very good router. However, it does suffer from, uh, you know, a short uh, range in terms of the Wi-Fi signal. And if you're like me and you live in a house with concrete walls, okay, then in that case, this range is extremely limited. So I bought this at the time when, you know, there were fewer s smartphones and lesser number of uh, connections and streaming was very limited. So I did not feel the need to buy a better router then. However, times have changed and they've changed really quickly. Then after three years of using this particular router, I actually went ahead and bought another router, which is this one. Now this is a 300 megabit router. It's again a single band router and it's a wireless N. And I was very happy with this particular router because when it came out, it was really cheap. This was uh, selling at around 1500 rupees when I bought it. And currently it sells for about, you know, uh, 1100 Indian rupees. So that would be around $20, close to $20, which again is bang for the buck. Now, few things that you need to understand about this particular router is uh, that it's a 300 megabit router. However, it still has the 100 uh, megabit ports here. So it does not have any gigabyte ports, but it has a 100 megabit ports here. So is it, do you think that you should buy this router? in 2017 now trust me guys both of these routers are excellent routers but if you look at you know the Mi 3c router even if you're looking for a single band router i would feel the Mi 3c router is a much better router simply because it has the features it has more advanced features it has more ram uh, and it has a better network according to me I will post the, the review video, you know, in, in, a, in a couple of days or maybe tomorrow. However, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk. Uh, I would want to say that there, the difference between this and the Mi router on Flipkart is close to 100 rupees or, or max 200 rupees on some, maybe some other sites. So is it worth buying technology which is very old this has a 16 mb ram whereas um, the mi router has 32 mb ram which is much better uh, you know and 
so if you want to see my initial unboxing video uh, you will just see a, a, a notification come up here you can click it and you can get access to um, that particular video as well so does it make sense buying this router well if you want to save that 100 rupees or 200 rupees yeah this this does make sense and these are rock solid products these are such kind of routers where once you configure them you probably will forget they exist that's how good they are so that's my initial that's my you know uh, thought for today um, i don't think you should buy a um, a 150 megabit router in any sense the reason being is just for a couple of hundred rupees or a few dollars you can get a 300 megabit router and that makes more sense considering the fact that you know there would be uh, laptops that would prefer a 300 megabit connection uh, you know or newer devices that are connecting if you have um, a very um, you know uh, I feel a 2.4 gigahertz band router is sufficient if you do not have any kind of um, heavy internet activity um, you can also go in for a dual band router however for my needs a single band router works fine there are not so many Wi-Fi networks in my area which will you know congest the airwaves I am not uh, uh, too I do not fancy any kind of gigabit ports as well since I have a less than 10 Mbps um, internet connection and I do not have any kind of network access storage or I do not have any linked computers and things like that so for me this particular router would have been good however this lacks the range this one is better but still it lacks the range of some of the modern routers like you know the Mi 3C router which I reviewed and I unfortunately had to use both of these routers this one as my main router and this second one as uh, you know a repeater I use DDWRT which is an uh, uh, a, a different firmware to convert this into a repeater and I connected it to this router and improved my Wi-Fi connection so I can very safely say that once I've configured my new router that's the Mi 3C I replaced that one router with both of these devices so I hope this video is helpful and it has given you some insight into whether to buy a 150 megabit router or not although it seems really very uh, you know uh, tantalizing because it's available for less than thousand uh, less than a thousand rupees in India I say stay away from this buy at least this kind of a router if you can spend a couple of hundred more I would say definitely go in for the Mi 3C alright so those are my initial impressions on whether you should buy a 150 megabit router in 2017 or not I hope you liked this video if you did do give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe there are more videos which will which will be coming up thank you for watching this video and have a great day god bless